Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to this tutorial. And in it, we're going to be using a plugin called DigiFX Damage. And there'll be a download link in the description of how to get it. And um, once you have it, to install it, go to Computer, C, Program Files, Adobe, After Effects CS5, Support Files. And this might be different for you. You just have to get to your After Effects Support Files folder and go to plugins and then just copy and paste it in as you can see there's my uh, there's my plugin there and yeah so this is what we're going to be creating in this tutorial so as you can see the text uh, moves towards the camera and starts shaking and then it returns to its original position and I'm going to be showing you how to do that so go into After Effects and then just import uh, the clip that you want to use so this is the iNeons intro again and to go to the point in the timeline where you want the effect to occur so I'm going to go to about 3 seconds like that and go to effect digi effects damage v2 and de underscore destabilize and as you can see that creates the shaking effects but um, as you can see it occurs throughout the whole throughout the whole video and you might not want this, so uh, to get rid of this, just click on the source blend stopwatch, go up to 100%, and as you can see, it's just normal now, nothing, no shaking happening. And then go forward one frame, and put this down to zero. So effectively, we have keyframed it, so it starts off, and then the effect starts around three seconds. And we can keyframe it so it stops again. So about four seconds. Just uh, right click on the uh, source blend stopwatch. Go to add keyframe. Move forward one frame. And just put it up to 100 again. And now I'm going to show you what we've done. It's quite a nice effect and I use it on a lot of my intros. This is what we've done. I'll just uh, render it from a bit further back. Okay, as you can see, the text comes towards the camera. Yeah, so that's pretty much how you do it. Um, you can add sound effects as well. Um, the one I used in the iNeons intro was part of the Video Copilot Effects Designer Sound Effects Pack, and it was uh, found in Abstract Sounds, and it was uh, Radio Snow 8, I think. And I just imported that and put it um, on at the time when the uh, effect is occurring. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Thanks for watching, and I've got a few more tutorials coming out in the next few days. And um, yeah, I think you'll like them, so stay tuned for more. See you later.